What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today I want to talk about a game mode that we recently had during the Street Fighter collaboration, which was Dream Match. But before we get into that, guys, I do want to remind all of you that today is the last day for these hammers, so make sure that you do use these hammers to level up your Street Fighter stones. If you have any available, if you have the resources, go ahead and use these stones to level them up as much as you can, and also make sure that you go ahead and use your summons uh, that you did get from the Chun-Li event, right? So just come in here, click on here, Whoops, click on this and click on your free summon first, of course. Do this, baby. And then you're going to have a whole bunch of summons that are going to be on a time restriction, right? And you can see the little time restriction right there. You see all of them there. I got 34 of them, guys. And just go ahead and click on these. Use them because this is the last day that these will be available. They're not going to be super viable for most players, but, you know, it's some extra memories. You can actually use these memories to combine and hopes to get an SS memory or a BS memory. Or maybe even in the future, maybe in the future, even an EX memory for characters during specific banners. So, that, you know, just go ahead and do this. You know, why not? It also puts you a little bit closer to the pity so you can actually choose, you know, whatever fighter from the United Banner or whatever card from the United Banner. Now, let's talk about Dream Match. Dream Match is a game mode that went over super, super well, I believe, for the player base. I had so many comments, and I know in the Discord, people were just loving it. They were so happy. It wasn't a perfect game mode, but what they essentially done in that game mode is they took away everything that makes these characters broken as hell. For example, the remove super hyper, super armor and hyper armor crap, right? They they got rid of that. This is kind of froze here for a second, but they got rid of that crap. This, you know, chance to remove or 100% chance to remove super armor, hyper armor. Uh, uh, no shields are here. There's no shields in Dream Match. They removed all the cores that make characters just super, super broken. Uh, just all these things that come into play. They got make our characters just so freaking strong as far as our damage, as far as just, you know, being able to get a hold of us the characters guard breaks they remove guard breaks at least for the most part i did find one character that did have a guard break there might be others but i'll show you guys a little footage of that but really the characters that shined in dream match were your zoners characters that had a lot of lingering damage hanging around all over the place that could keep doing hits to you and if you tried dodging during those you would get caught and these characters were really the most broken characters in there right characters like ramlethal you know ramlethal thank you so much for the subscription ramlethal was godly in there because she just like she would do her grab skill like she could do her first skill by the way range attacks were massive in there as well so she has all this range on all of her skills but whenever she would do one skill you'd have to block right well then she would do her grab skill and just grab a hold of you and there's nothing you could do to get out of it unless you had that awakened skill ready right and a lot of other characters had similar things leona's third skill with the constant hits of her flames that spin around her over and over. Bison, I mean, he's just nutty, guys, due to his teleportation, due to his lingering damage, I believe, from his second skill. And there's a whole slew of other characters. SS Kula's godly in this thing. Uh, Guinness, BS Guinness, you know, with the tornadoes. I mean, these characters are just nuts because of all the lingering damage that they have. And they just force you whenever you're fighting. Even characters with grabs can be really insane in Dream Match because they force you to like, you know, you just either guard or dodge and then you get caught. I mean, it's really, really tricky to play against these characters. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a few runs for you guys so you can actually watch it because luckily I did record a little bit of gameplay. So right now I'm using the Tekken team, guys. And this is something else about the Dream Match that I loved is that we could play with all the characters in the game. And man, I really would advise Netmarble to bring this game mode back. It's not perfect by any means. There, There is still some things about it I don't like. Like there's some certain rules in Dream Match where you can get a defensive characters and get a heal when they get below a certain amount of 30 or a certain amount of HP. And honestly, I don't want that at all. I don't want anything that's going to give any characters benefits, resetting skills, or anything like that. Right? Just let them be as they may and play with them and have maybe longer cooldowns on their skills. I think that would actually help a lot. And like Oh, a lot of people, when they was playing this, they figured out, you know, with the Awakened skill, right, that thing, you know, completely takes you out of combos. Uh, it knocks the characters back, so you can actually start going your combos like Rio's doing to me right now, right? And what I love about this is there's just way more skill involved, right? That's kind of the thing about Championship that sucks is that characters are so broken. A lot of times it's just RNG, it's just luck, 
or it's just, you know, they're resetting skills. People are just spamming. Whereas if you spam in this game mode, right, if you're a spammer, right, even if you're using characters like Dizzy, even if you're using characters like Bison, right, if you're a spammer, you're not going to win. You're not going to win against a more skilled player because they know how to time their skills. They're looking for the cracks and openings in the opponent's skill sets, right? They're looking for those little brief moments where they can get in there and actually attack them, which is exactly what I'm trying to do against this Bison right here. Look at me. I'm just guarding guys because Bison, man, he's got a lot of lingering damage on that second skill, especially. Like, that damn thing is nutty. Like, this here, look at that, all that lingering damage. If I tried moving whenever he was doing that, I could get hit and he could go into his combos, right? But this player, right, didn't really understand the way it works right in here. You know, I can guard against all of Bison's attacks, right? So check this out. Here's a really great matchup. Uh, shout out to my buddy 4 times BR right there, or XBR, right? Shout out to him. He's in my Discord. Uh, really great player. Watch how we approach this here. See, and this is the thing. Now, here's this is like Guinness. Remember when I said earlier, a character that's got like, you know, a zoning attack, like those tornadoes or range attacks, and then they got a grab? Guinness, right? His second skill does that damn grab, and it's just, and his third skill has all that lingering damage, and his first skill has the tornadoes. It just makes him an insane zoner, and there's nothing that I can hardly do about it, right? Because one, I'm playing against a good player, right? But... Also, Guinness is just really, really, like, these characters like this are really, really broken. But I don't care. I just want to play with Tekken, which is, again, another reason why I love Dream Match. Just playing with characters that I love. I'm a huge Tekken fan. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. And see what I did there? I actually uh, did my Awakened skill and just blocked because Guinness had that lingering damage going on. If I would have tried to go in for the kill, I would have started taking damage. And that's where the skill and knowledge of all how all this works really comes into play as far as doing better, you know. And Leona, she's actually not broken. I actually made some mistakes, I believe, in this run. But, you know, but her third skill is devastating, guys. Like, I mean, if that thing is up and you try to attack, like right now, look what happened. Right? See? She just hit me, knocked me out. There's nothing I can do. Like, these characters with these zoning skills, uh, with all this lingering damage, are just, man... They're really, really tough. So, I mean, even in this PvP, right, even in Dream Match where all the cores are removed and everything, there's still some broken-ass characters in this game mode. There's still quite a few broken characters. I wouldn't say Leona's really broken in this. I think she's a pretty balanced character in this game mode. But, like, characters like Dizzy, as you guys have seen a little bit, they're just nuts, man, with the range, the zoning, the constant doing hits, the lingering skills... Uh, just really, really hard to deal with, especially for, like, my Tekken characters who don't have any of these effects. Now, you know, so, like, I got the bare minimum here trying to take these guys on. But, you know, that does make it interesting, right? You know, I won't lie to you guys. I did get a little aggravated uh, playing this some sometimes, right? But still fun at the same token, right? Like, watching it now is still really cool, right? I've got a little bit of lag, unfortunately. I really tried giving you guys some runs where I didn't have as much lag, but... Unfortunately, just like Championship, there were sinking issues. There were times where I tried to start a fight in here, and I couldn't start the fight. I'd have to get the hell out, and I'd have to start all over again. And I know a lot of other players went through the same thing. And that's just something I think that can't be helped, right? It's just something that's always been prevalent in the game, unfortunately. One of these days, maybe they can work it out. I mean, if you were playing on PC and you were playing against other players on PC, you probably didn't have as much of a problem, but I was just playing against whoever. Now, look at this. She does her first skill, she's got all that range, and then we got all this lingering damage. And then he can try to catch me with the third skill that she has, right? And I was just waiting for an opening with my Jin to try to come in and go in for the kill, right? That's all I was doing, just waiting for an opening. Because if I dodge right now, if I go in for the kill, I'm going to take damage. Oh, see, right there, I screwed up. I should have just blocked. Right? And I mean, when you play against these kinds of characters, these zoners, you need to block a lot. Right? I mean, you really need to be very, very careful. Right? You need a guard cancel a lot, which is where you're doing a skill, then you hit your guard, so you immediately go in your guard. So that way you're not attacking, because if you are, they can actually catch you in those moments. I mean, it's tricky, guys. It's really, really tricky. Like, I was getting pretty aggravated facing against Dizzy, to be perfectly honest with you guys. A uh, really nutty character and hard to deal with because even though I'm guarding, she's still doing damage to me and she's still building a PG. 
right? So you're also in a situation where you gotta you gotta come back at him. You gotta figure a way to get in those cracks and do some damage to these characters, right? So I mean, yeah, I mean we're coming down to Heiachi, and unfortunately Heiachi sucks for this guy. He's not that great. Like he's just too slow. All of his skills are pretty much telegraphed, and you can easily see them coming. And I try to do my best with him, but yeah, man, it gets dizzy. It's just a tough road. It's a rough road against this character, especially with BR there, Planner. Uh, he just knows what he's doing, man. He knows how to play. He knows what I'm trying to do. And when you're facing players like that and they got the more broken character, it's, it's tough to come out on top. Excuse me. It's tough to get there, man. So, yeah. And, you know, a lot of her skills are also, you know, will knock you up in the air, right? Man, like just, uh... Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Dizzy's an awesome character, but I actually hated her guts after this match. I couldn't stand her, and I really didn't even want to fight her anymore <laughs> after this one here. Uh, because, I mean, look at that, guys. That lingering ball there caught me when I went in for my uppercut. Nothing I could do. Tough to deal with, man. Really, really tough. Like, he's just breaking me down methodically, whooping me. So shout out to my buddy, man. Good job. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken characters. Yeah, unfortunately, right? So now we're facing, you know, we got a little mixed blend here of uh, Gintoki, Ignis, and Akuma, right? Akuma is actually really good here as well. I mean, there's a lot of characters that are actually really good, especially if you can play properly. But I slipped one in there. I did, by the way, guys, you know, not to make any kind of excuses. I'm not trying to do that. But I actually uh, was having some controller problems. Didn't realize it whenever I made this video here or made this recording. But I was actually having controller problems where my controller would just start, you know, doing weird things, right? Like it would do a certain skill whenever I wasn't hitting the skill. It wasn't really prevalent during this recording. But here lately, it, it got really bad. I actually had to buy a new controller to fix that problem, man. Yeah, it's, it's pretty rough, honestly, in Guild Raid. You know, your 3PG just starts working out of nowhere. Like, I literally would put my control down, and my 3PG would just enact. Right? There we go. And Kazuya, man, I really just try slipping in them sweeps, slipping in that second skill. You know, a character that was really broken whenever he first showed up, especially for PvP. But, I mean, now, you know, he's just not that good. But that's the thing about Dream Match, right? These characters that aren't good, right? Gold Border characters facing EX characters, facing, you know, BSSS characters. You can win. It just makes it fun. It makes all, it makes you like, you can enjoy all the characters that you love to play with. If you love Ralph, right? You can enjoy Ralph in this. You can enjoy uh, Clark. You can enjoy whoever your favorite character is. You can enjoy that and enjoy your favorite collab also. Even if you didn't play during the release of those collaborations. And that is a big thing and a big reason why this game was so awesome. So I, I really, really hope that Netmarble incorporates this again. I mean, I, again, guys, I know it's not perfect. There are things about it that I didn't really care for. But all in all, especially compared to Championship, at least in my humble opinion, this is way better. Way, way better than what Championship ever could have been. Championship used to be fun back in the day when we'd have all this broken crap. Right, whenever we could use gold border characters. It was a lot more fun. But now they always, you know, we're always using our fest characters. We're always using, you know, like EX now and BS and SS a lot of the times. And they're just too broken, guys. They're just too broken. Uh, it's just not fun. It's not, well, okay, it might be fun for some people, but I know a lot of PvP players, really good PvP players, that just, they're not happy with PvP anymore. They don't really like it as much as they used to be. I'm not trying to put salt on it. It's just... It's just how they feel, guys, right? So here we're taking on Psyche and Ash and Akuma. And Ash there can be a real freaking nightmare because, guys, that third skill, just like Akuma's first skill, can still freaking reset. So there still are some broken elements to certain characters that work in Dream Match. And honestly, I think that should be alleviated. I do not think they should be able to do that. I think they should remove everything from the skills and everything from the cores Period. I don't think there should be any advantage. I don't think defensive characters should get a heal. I don't think characters should have resets. Nothing like that at all. It should be all removed. Put every character on a level playing field as least as best you can, right? You can't help that characters are going to have range. You can't help that characters are going to have lingering effects. 
But there are ways to approach this to make it even more balanced and more fair amongst all of your characters. And, and Ash is just nutty because he's, he can reset his third skill, but he also has the first skill that has that circling orbs around him, right? And just like Leona, if I go in for the kill, I can die attacking him. Or he can go in his combos, right? And Psyche there's got to grab, so you got to be real careful of that character, right? I mean, it's, uh, it's tough, guys. And another thing that I love about Dream Match is you really do... I mean, you should do this anyways in PvP, but... The uh, interrupt skills are removed, right? So, you... Comboing is more prevalent in doing this, right? It's more... It's better whenever you can combo more often. Because you're, 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 you feel like you're actually in a fighting game. That's, that's what I love about this. You actually feel like you're in a fighting game. I mean, fighting games have always had broken characters, guys. Akuma... Kuma's broken as hell. Leroy from Tekken, broken as hell. Even after they nerfed him, he was still broken, right? So they've always had broken characters, but at least there was some kind of balance. At least, like, against a good player with other characters, they could still win. And that's what makes these kinds of games fun. Whenever you have all these broken meta effects, it just takes a lot of the fun out of it. And it takes a lot of the thought process out of it too, right? I mean, right there, I caught Akuma, which is exactly what I wanted to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm really trying to be careful here with Akuma, man. See how I kind of spun around to the other side? And that's what I mean. You know, you're using skill to win. And, and, and it feels good. And this guy got pissed. He rage quit. He's like, nope, nope, nope. Not having it, bro. Not having it, man. Screw you. I'm done. Right? And honestly, I never, ever do that. I never, ever rage quit, guys. I might rage, but I won't rage quit. I will never give another player the satisfaction of me giving up. I will not. Now, this is the last match I'm going to show you guys. And I just want to show you this because how Mauro there is freaking broken in this freaking game mode. Because look what he just did. He guard broke me. That is not right. And that character should not be able to do that. Now, his first skill does guard break. Uh, in the game naturally, but it shouldn't do it in this game mode. It's a completely unfair advantage and the second skill does their tornado, right? And it does all that lingering damage like a lot of those other zoner characters that I talked about So he is just nutty. I honestly this is the first time I played Haramaru in the smash that you're watching right now And I didn't know he could card break you. I had no idea that he could do this Right there. I dodged the first skill, but he caught me with the second skill Really, really tough, man. So I was already getting pretty frustrated in this match right here, but that's a part of PvP, right? That's just a part of it. See? I mean, uh So right now, I'm kind of getting a wind of what I need to do against Haramal. You know, that I, now that I know he can guard break my first skill, I'm trying to dodge that damn thing. I'm trying not to get hit by it. But, I mean, he's a tough character, man. He's really, really tough to take down. Oh, I caught him with that second skill. Nice. Kind of let off his guard just a little bit there. So I got a little lucky on that one. Adelaide is actually pretty cool in this game mode, too. He is a comboing machine, my friends. Comboing machine. But he can't stun you in this game mode, which is nice. Now, see how I just dodged there, how I moved away? I don't know why my controller was doing that. I wasn't even moving my directional pad. But it still just moved. It, sometimes it would do that, man. And I really think this was like the beginning of my controller getting wacky on me. Uh, like I said, guys, I mean, and the weird thing is, like, whenever I play with other games, my controller didn't give me any problems. But for some reason, with the PC client, it did. But now that I got a new controller, I'm not noticing any problems at all. It seems to be playing really well. So, yeah. So, good job to this guy for getting it done, right? Great. So, again, you know, it sucks that my favorite character, Heiachi, is, like, bad. Even in this game, oh, guys, he's not very good. He's okay, but he's just too slow. Like I said, he just telegraphs almost everything he does. And Adelaide is fast. See, like, you can see that damn thing coming a mile away. Even his second skill and his third skill are the same way. There, I caught Adelaide. Right? I got in there and I caught him. But... 
pretty tough, right? It's awesome, by the way, listening to Tekken's music. I love it. That was something else that was nice. You could hear all your favorite characters' themes, you know, when you play with them in here. That was something that was really, really awesome. But uh, I believe I get my butt whooped here by Meliodas. I'm doing my best to try to guard, but... I mean, there, my... You know, the second hit didn't hit. Okay. Trying to use my basics, and there he dodged. Got out of the way of my uppercut. Slick move, my friend. Slick move. But it's just, I mean, now, guys, all he's got to do is attack me when I'm guarding, and I will die. And that's exactly what happens. I'm trying to get in there and catch him, but it's... Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough with Heiachi. But it's all good, man. That's PvP. That's just the way it is, right? Other characters are just going to have other advantages over certain characters. So, I mean, guys, I mean, I really hope that Dream Match comes back. I hope they bring it back in another collaboration. Really, I would love to see it be permanent, but I just don't think that Netmarble would do that because what would happen is people would stop playing uh, Championship and they would just jump over Dream Match all the time. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what people would do because a lot of players don't play PvP because either the connecting issues or because they just don't like all that broken crap. They can't stand it. They don't want to play it. They feel it's unfair and they don't they don't want to do it, right? Whereas in Dream Match, there is a lot, lot more balance between all of our characters in the game, which makes all of them more relevant for a lot of the player base out there, right? It's a big reason why we love it. So I do advise Netmarble to try to bring that game mode back or bring a game mode back like that that's always available in the game because I really do think it does boost player morale. So guys, let me know what you think about Dream Match. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. TNT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one. See everybody.